It has been months that the new Model 3 performance has disappeared from the Tesla website. Big changes and first time news on the brand new Model 3 coming soon and critical software updates for every single Tesla. Let's get into all of that in today's video. There's been a lot of changes since the beginning of the year for Tesla's most popular sedan, the Model 3. At the beginning of the year, a full list of Teslas that qualified for the $7,500 EV tax credit was announced. What has changed this year is that the Model 3 rear wheel drive, the car that I'm sitting in, in the long range no longer qualify for that federal EV tax credit in the car that does the new Model 3 performance you cannot purchase at this time. So like we said, that Model 3 is nowhere to be seen on the Tesla website, even though it's the only sedan, the Model 3, that qualifies for the EV tax credit. For the first time, we're seeing what could be the first Model 3 performance out in the wild, supercharging at a station in California. And for the first time, we're seeing the signature white bucket seats new performance, sportier seats, unique to the Model 3 performance. So did you know that this new Model 3 performance is said to have a brand new feature on the front bumper, a new lower splitter? This air intake area of the Model 3 performance is seen on this leaked image at a supercharger in California. Even though this Model 3 has a cover, we do see what looks to be a new redesigned front splitter area. Big software updates are coming to Tesla's. It has been reported that one of Tesla's most complained about features, the auto wipers, are getting a much needed software update very, very soon. Did you know that this new Model 3 Performance 1 qualifies for that full EV tax credit at this time? Two, we'll have a new front bumper design in that front splitter. Three, we'll have unique bucket seats. These performance seats have been seen again on leaked images. And four, will be a completely unique vehicle. Tesla themselves have said this is going to be a very special Model 3. So let's talk about a brand new software update chocked full of new Tesla features and then some important news on the Model Y. Let's get into these software updates. In a new over-the-air update 2024.2.6, Tesla is now providing you an ETA on when your battery will warm up to optimum temperatures. This is really important. So if you're thinking about owning a Tesla or you have one right now, whenever you go to your supercharger, you wanna plug in that supercharger's address into your Tesla's navigation. So now because of this software update, what this will do is provide you an estimated time that your Tesla will take to optimize that battery's temperature, thus allowing you the most efficient and best charge at a supercharger. A really useful software update feature that is also being rolled out in this new update is now if you plug in that GPS location for a supercharger, while you're driving to that supercharger, your Tesla will actually warm up your charging port. And this is especially important if you live in a colder climate. Now you don't have to worry about that charging port freezing closed. So there's been a lot of discussion around how much range is accurately estimated by your Tesla. Well, now because of that new software update, you're gonna get the most accurate range. For anyone who's had range anxiety, now your Tesla factors in the battery life of your vehicle as well. In this software update, Tesla continues to use road factors like wind speed, wind direction, and more to calculate what number you see on your screen. Well, now because of this new software update, your Tesla will actually factor in the age of your battery. So it's pretty common based on charging practices, the type of chargers you use, and of course the age of your battery, you're gonna see that battery life decrease over the long run. Now Tesla factors in that age of your battery to give you the most accurate range estimate on the Tesla screen. Really helpful software updates are now included in this same over the air update. Did you know that now your Tesla will remind you if you get home to your charging location, if you forget to charge. So let's say your battery is under 50%, 
now you're going to get a notification on your Tesla app that will remind you. So did you know one of the biggest points in the Tesla community when it comes to unlocking your Tesla is using your phone as your key card? Let me explain. So your phone is supposed to act like a key card and the closer you get to your Tesla, your phone and Tesla should over Bluetooth connect as long as you have that Tesla app open and unlock the doors for you. Well, a lot of Tesla owners, myself included, have found this connectivity a little glitchy. Well, now because of a software update, this apparently is getting improved in a big way. There's now improved connectivity protocol. So what that means is now, even though your phone may be in your back pocket, let's say, an issue in the past, well now that's still going to connect whether that's the case or whether you're actually further away from your Tesla as well. So it's still gonna be a reasonable distance. It's not like you're gonna be halfway across the street and your car unlocks, which makes it available for anybody to jump in. But now as you approach the vehicle, that connectivity is going to be more reliable, it's going to be stronger, and it's going to work in more scenarios. Two things on the Model Y that are really important. Number one, did you know that while you're on the Tesla purchase page, you're actually now going to see the existing price after the EV tax credit? All Model Ys qualify for this federal $7,500 EV tax credit, but a new add-on was just announced on the Tesla website to make your shopping a little easier. Now, if you're on the Model Y inventory page, in addition to a custom order, now the inventory page actually shows this savings as well. And this is really important because on that inventory page, sometimes these prices are lower than what you can buy a used or brand new Tesla for. It's important to know which Model Ys qualify. So instead of having to look at the IRS list and double check, is this inventory Tesla Model Y qualify? Now Tesla has added that for you on the inventory screen for the Model Y. And number two, there is a $1,000 discount currently applied and is active on the Tesla website for Model Ys. So if you are browsing that custom order page or if you're looking at the inventory page, you will see that savings from the EV tax credit. Well, in addition to that, if you are custom ordering a Model Y, now through the end of February, you're gonna save an extra $1,000. Demo drives have begun, and did you know you can go into the Tesla website and easily schedule from multiple locations a 30-minute demo drive where you and you alone will have a chance to experience a Tesla test drive. A salesperson does not have to accompany you on this Tesla demo drive. So again, a 30 minute demo drive can be scheduled on the website and there's also this. Overnight demo drives are available. Really cool if you're trying to experience the brand new Model 3 2024 refresh. You can take it home, you can drive it on errands, you can see it in your garage. And you can do this with any Tesla. You can go online, pick this Tesla up at the end of the day and then take it home to return it the next morning. A new referral program just came out. If you are thinking about taking a demo drive, the person giving you that referral link, so if you were to use my referral link, I would get 1,000 points in credit. And then if you were to purchase a Tesla using a referral link, at this time, you'll get three months full self-driving for free. A brand new Model 3 is coming with new features, discounts on the Model Y and clearer pricing online, big software updates and more. So make sure to stick around to see when all these changes actually occur. When can you purchase that Model 3 performance and are you waiting for one? If you like this video, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 15,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. If you like Tesla content to join the community. As always, this is Matt from Frunk to Trunk. We will see you in the next video.